also starting gym training today i have a personal trainer that's coming home i've been so like severely depressed the last month i would say that i have just have not done anything at all it's i've just been living a very unhealthy lifestyle not been doing anything and i just want to get back on track so i have a trainer coming home we have a little home gym that shane and i built we have a bench we have a mat we have some dumbbells sky loves walking through them yeah i'm just gonna change and then that's what we have to do this is jason he's my trainer he used to train me two years ago as well then i shifted now he's training me again <laughs> Unfortunately, because of all my health reasons, I can't have coffee anymore or more like caffeine. I can have decaf coffee, but who the hell wants to have decaf coffee? I still will just because I can't live without it, but I've ordered a good quality decaf coffee. I'm waiting for it to come, but until then I have this morning routine that I have to do for like my stomach issues that I'm having. I have to have a teaspoon of kalonji oil and i have to have these supplements as well an enterogermina probiotic so this has been my morning routine instead of coffee which is a big change a lot has changed since the last time you saw me It is time for me to go for my laser appointment. Um, I just restarted laser properly. I did it like, I think I've done laser like two or three times before. I did it twice when I was in the US and once when I was here. But I wanted to just like finish the whole six, eight time course and get it over with. So I've done one session since I started it. And it's time for my second session today. I am doing my lower legs, my underarms, and my vajaj. So that's what we have to do now. So I just got out of the shower and I have to go for wedding planning right now. I am not gonna vlog the wedding planning part because we're going to one of the venues for my wedding and I don't really want to give anything away right now because there's so much time left. And also I don't want to jinx it or put any bad nazar on anything wedding related. So I will not be vlogging the wedding planning meeting that I have. I have to go out for it. By the way, I also asked you guys on Instagram to send me in some questions. So while I get ready, I'm just going to answer some questions because it's been so while since we all caught up. I thought, you know, I can just answer some questions that you guys have and get ready. Someone said, do you have any upcoming travel plans and what's your favorite country to visit except Bali? That's a good question. So actually, yes, um, May, I'm actually going to two places. So the first I'm going for a week um, to this wellness retreat. Um, which isn't really a travel plan necessarily. I'm mostly going to like focus on my health and stuff because as I mentioned in my previous videos, there's just so much that's been going on. So I'm going to be focusing on my gut health and my mental health and I'm just going to be detoxing for a week. And then in the end of May, Shane and I are actually going on a fun little trip to Turkey, which is very exciting. Shane and I just haven't taken like a fun little vacation outside India except to go to the US. Um, in so long so we thought that would be fun someone said how are things going after getting engaged is there a change in your life I don't really think there's a change in my life after getting engaged because the reason Shane and I even got engaged was because we just didn't feel like girlfriend boyfriend anymore we felt like our relationship was so much deeper than that so I would say the only change necessarily that's happened like our relationship has become deeper and more like family 
which is amazing. Someone said, did you feel homesick when you moved abroad? I did, definitely felt homesick. The first few months I had the time of my life because I was like, oh, I'm away from home. I don't have to deal with like rules. I don't have to ask my parents for permission. I can do whatever I want. I'm free, I'm independent, blah, blah, blah. But I'm talking about when I went to college. And then after the first like semester of college ended in my freshman year, it like hit me and I was just like, oh my God, I want to go home. I miss my mom. I just want to be home. So yeah, it's very normal to feel homesick, obviously, when you're living away from home for so long, especially when it's like the first time that you're living away from home. Someone said fitness update and routine. Um, like I mentioned, I'm starting personal training at home again. Sheen and I kind of um, built this home gym which i showed you guys which has been really helpful in like staying consistent and because someone's coming home to train me it's also a lot easier to be consistent someone also said how's your mental health been hope you're feeling better thank you i wouldn't say it's completely where i would want it to be definitely not but i think compared to how it was like at the beginning of this month or about a month ago it's a lot better touch wood thank god Someone also said, have you started wedding outfit hunting? I haven't yet. I'm gonna start soon. I'm very excited for that part of wedding planning. My makeup is done though. I'm just gonna change and go for my meeting with my wedding planner. Not gonna vlog that, so I'll see you when I'm back. I am back from my day out and it's time to get unready, which is my favorite part of the day, honestly. And for that, the Garnier oil infused micellar water is my holy grail. But before I dive into it, a quick tip, make sure to shake the bottle before you use it. This is infused with argan oil, which ensures the effectiveness of this product, especially if your makeup's on the heavier side. I love this stuff because it's like magic. It removes 100% of stubborn makeup easily, leaving my skin 100 100% clean. Just pour, press and swipe. There's no need to rub harshly on the skin because it's gentle yet highly effective. It's good for all skin types, even sensitive skin like mine. So whether it's a full face or just a touch up, Garnier's got me covered. Trust me, it's a game changer. I just have a therapy appointment now and after that we're gonna make some dinner. I just got the coolest kitchen thing ever. Saloni Kukreja, who's this food creator. I love her. I stalk her page all the time and I was just stalking her the other day to find like cool recipes and stuff and I saw her do a sponsorship for some brand called Appliance which is like some AI powered cooking thing. I'm not really sure how it works but it is so cool. This is basically it. It's like it has a bunch of recipes on it and you can like make whatever you want. Oh, new version available. Cool. But you can like make whatever you want and it like tells you the exact steps to follow. There's like a jar that goes here and you just like follow the instructions and it cooks it for you. Like it literally does everything for you. All you need to do is add shit to it. So today I was thinking I'll make this low calorie spicy kadai chicken. I don't know if it's making sense now but once I just ordered groceries to make dinner right now. So I'll show you when I make it. This is not sponsored by the way. I just think this is the coolest invention ever. Thank you. 